In the 18th century, Mary Antoinette allegedly advised the starving masses that if they ran out of bread, they should just eat cake instead. Today, the poor are following this advice to the later, whereas the rich residents of Beverly Hills eat later salad and steamed tofu with quinoa in the slums and ghettos, the poor girls and Twinkie cakes, Cheetos, hamburgers, and pizza. In 2014, more than 2.1 billion people were overweight compared to 850 who suffer from malnutrition. Half of humankind is expected to be overweight by 2013. In 2010, famine and malnutrition combined killed about 1 million people, whereas obesity killed 3 million invisible armadas. After famine, humanity's second great enemy was plague and infectious disease. Bursting cities linked by ceaseless stream of mere change. Officials, pilgrims were both the bedrock of human civilization and an idle breeding ground for pathogens. People consequently lived their lives in ancient Athens or medieval Florence, knowing that they might fall ill and die next week, or that an epidemic might suddenly erupt and destroy their entire family in one soup. The most famous such outbreak, the so-called Black Death, began in the 1330s somewhere in East or Central Asia and the flea dwelling bacterium Yersinia pestis started infecting humans bitten by the fleas from there riding on an army of rats and fleas the plague quickly spread all over Asia, Europe and North Africa taking less than 20 years to reach the source of the and the Atlantic Ocean between 75 million and 200 million people died more than a quarter of population of Eurasia in England for out of 10 died and the population dropped from a pre-flake high of 3.1 million people to a post-flake low of 2.2 million the city of Florence lost 50,000 of its 1 lakh inhabitants the authorities were completely helpless in the face of the calamity except for organizing mass prayers and processions they had no idea how to stop the spread of the epidemic let alone cure it until the modern era humans blamed diseases on barrier malicious demons and angry gods and did not suspect the existence of bacteria and viruses people readily believed in angels and fairies but they could not imagine that tiny flea or a single drop of water might contain an entire armada of deadly predators the black death was not a single event nor even the worst plague in history more disastrous epidemic struck america australia and Pacific Islands following the arrival of the first Europeans unbeknown to the explorers and settlers. They brought with them new infectious disease against which the native had no immunity. Up to 90% of the local population died as a result. On March 5, 1520, a small Spanish flotilla left the island of Cuba on its way to Mexico, the ships carried 900 Spanish soldiers along with horses, firearms, and a few African slaves. One of the slaves, Francisco de Uzia, carried on his person a far deadlier cargo. Francisco didn't know it, but somewhere almost his trillions of sails a biological time bomb was taking the smallpox virus.